Et du coup, Clémentine, tu viens d'où, toi? Salut! Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you different ways that you can ask where a person comes from in French and how you would respond. Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Belter Academy. So you just meet a person, you're entering to this very interesting conversation, but you're wondering where they are from. You know that you'd be using the vous form, that polite form we've mentioned in quite a few videos, and you can learn all about it by clicking on this video next and learning about it more. But you could easily just say, d'où venez-vous? D'où venez-vous? D'où venez-vous? Ah, je viens de Nîmes. Je viens de Nîmes. So you ask, d'où venez-vous? Where do you come from? And you respond, je viens de, je viens de, I come from. If it was a person that you already knew and that just entered in conversation of wondering, hey, where are you from, by the way? You could just use the informal, we call informal, to say you, d'où viens-tu? D'où viens-tu? D'où viens-tu? Ah, je viens de San Diego. Je viens de San Diego. D'où viens-tu? Je viens de. Obviously, an easy way if you don't even know how to reformulate, hey, where'd you come from? And you forgot that, you can easily just say, et toi? Et toi? Et vous? Et vous? So another thing that you can say if you're trying to say, je viens de, another way to say that would be, je suis de. Less commonly used, but you could say, je suis de, which is kind of going back into your background, like where you're originally from, versus je viens de, is like this is pretty much where I live. So that would be a comparison between the two. Let's practice with a couple scenarios where you can hear a conversation, but you can also practice the same scenario so that you can really master this. Before you laugh at this funny skit, make sure you hit that like button if you've already learned something out of this video, Click the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of our next French lesson you're not going to want to miss, telling you about different types of phone companies that exist in France so that you're not lost in the sauce trying to figure out, well, where's ATT, Sprint, or Verizon? You'll know where to go. Et du coup, Clémentine, tu viens d'où, toi? Alors, moi, je viens de Toulouse. Et vous? Ah, super. Ben, je viens de Montpellier. D'accord, d'accord. Je suis originaire de Béziers, mais euh, j'habite Toulouse depuis longtemps. Mais je connais Béziers parce que c'est à côté de Sète et je vais souvent à Sète. Ah, d'accord. Voilà. So, here are three words that you might have heard in the dialogue and not known what they mean. The first one is alors. Alors, alors just means so. Kind of used as an audible pause. You can learn more about audible pauses by watching this video next, but we use alors a lot, just like we use donc a lot. Also, to kind of link the words and link the sentences together to mean so. The second word that you also heard was du coup, actually two words, du coup, du coup, and that is just kind of linking what was previously said in the prior sentence to continue on with that topic, to continue on. So we use du coup a lot. We have our students practice these in our classes at Belter Academy so that they don't feel lost using these and they feel comfortable in how to use them. The third word that we might have heard was originaire. Originaire. In a couple weeks, I'm going to provide you with a video that talks a lot about background and how to talk about one's background and origins in French. But when you're saying, hey, I'm originally from, or this is kind of where I was from, you would say, je suis originaire de. Vous êtes originaire, je suis originaire de Nîmes. Voilà. What can I simplify in French for you? Comment below, and that may be the next video I produce. A bientôt tout le monde.